Hello and welcome back. Um, I hope you are all well. I know we are eagerly awaiting issue episode four of Colour and Chat Mythographic, um, the Fates page. I am just about to sit down and finish all the little pencily bits that I need to do so that I can film the next part on camera and hopefully it, it it will be done it will definitely be done but I thought I would jump on and film a little sort of not necessarily a shot we out yeah like a shot of my stash but more uh, my colouring plans for October really um just so you can see what I've got planned. I have got big plans, I'm not going to lie. I might be being slightly over ambitious, but we can only try. And I finished school in two weeks, for two weeks off. So definitely the first week off, I will probably be doing a lot of colouring. So there's a possibility that I might get what I would like to get done and more. But who knows? who cares i'll just see how far i get um and also i'm going to apologize now but on instagram um and probably my october completed pages video you are going to have halloween overload um i am kind of setting myself a challenge a little bit of a let's just do it until it happens but i'm only going to color in when i've finished the two pages that i'm currently working on now which will be done tomorrow so then I can film my completed pages video tomorrow or Sunday. Um, I am only colouring Halloween themed pages. So let's get cracking. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to go on and on and on because I don't want to be here all night. But the first book that I have, I've, the ring light is on and it is glaring like nobody's business. So just bear with me. I'm just going to see if I can... Nope, it doesn't matter. We'll just have to live with it. <clears throat> um, I think it's only this book that, that it will happen. But I bought, it came yesterday. I picked it up tonight from my mum's. Is From Halloween to Christmas Special by Daria Kikursoy. It is grayscale. I am not really, love this, not really sort of, I don't really know what I'm doing with grayscale, I'm not going to lie. Um. I think I've done what I've done a couple of pages. We'll just see what happens. Um, I would like to get maybe a page done in this. Maybe this. This is cute. Really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> that's cute. She's cool. But I would just like to get something done from this. Um, because I bought it specifically for Halloween. So if I don't, we'll be colouring every Christmas page just to get money's worth. And then it'll have to wait until the next year and I'll get it back out for Halloween. So I would like to get something done in this page this month. We shall see. It's going on the to colour from pile. Um, next, we have <clears throat> a book that I have done a flip through on of the channel. Um... Please ignore my desk, by the way. This is all gold splatter from when I went a bit crazy the other day. I did a flip through of this book on the channel. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm hoping to get more than one page in it done this month. If it happens, it happens. If not, I just want to at least get one page done. And I am going to go for Death on His Horse because he looks cool. And he looks a bit of a badass. So I'm thinking like Blue Flames, sort of a Hades vibe from Disney Hercules. Um, all of these flames, I'm probably going to try and go for like a blue effect maybe. Not sure what I'm going to do with him, but we shall see. I'm probably going to go markers um, and then pencil. It's very detailed. Um, not sure if markers will work because super, super fine spaces. We might have to go pencil. Who I don't know yet. I'm not sure. But I would like to get him done just for a page that I've got done in this book. Because I really want to try and start getting pages done in books that I buy. Um, it makes me quite sad that they just sit on the shelf not used. So I want to get that done. 
I will colour in this book throughout the rest of the year. This is not just a Halloween book because I love it. So that's going on there to colour pile. Also, you might be able to tell I am pretty excited that it's Friday. <clears throat> Another book that has been on my shelf since I possibly bought this in, well, maybe Boxing Day. Been on the shelf since Christmas. I have currently done, and I know you've all seen it, but I've done this page and that's it. <laughs> totally intimidated by this book. One, because I am a huge horror fan. Um, some of my favourite films are in this book. Alan's artwork is absolutely gorgeous and I kind of don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this page from Alien. And we've got Guliana fighting a xenomorph. Um, and straight away I thought, neon. I might go neon. Um, I need to film a pen pusher video, but... I have received some neon brush markers, so they might make an appearance. I don't think it will go through the paper because it's very thick, but I would love to get this picture done because I'll, I do do absolutely love it. I might do the xenomorph in some ink tents. Um, might go all ink tents. I'm not really sure. I kind of picked these pages and not really thought any further than that, so we shall see, but... I love this page. I love it. And I just think it will look cool in if there's some form of neon. Um, Obviously, the xenomorph is not going to be neon, but I love it. I want to do it so I can, like, do a page in this book and, like, break that fear. <clears throat> the next is a long-awaited body colour. And it's totally my fault because I just keep being mega busy um, and bless love colouring. She's just so patient and waiting for me. So we decided that we are going to do it. We are going to colour a page in Fantasy Figures Special, which I adore. And again, I've only done one page, which I believe I have already shown. But it was this lovely lady, Evangeline. Um, so... Halloween theme. Going to attempt this, attempt this witchy elf. So this is going to be a buddy colour with love colouring. Um, probably going to start that soon because bless her, she's been waiting for absolutely ages for us to do this buddy colour. So I want to get that ticked off and boom in the bag. Probably a marker with a pencil base. I used all pencil on Evangeline. Um, and I do love it. I do love, I do love how she turned out. Skin's not amazing, and the neck is incredibly dodgy. But pencils worked quite nice. I will maybe, I will maybe base the skin. I think. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get another one doing here, and that's terrifying. Don't know what I'm going to do with the bird. Never coloured a bird. Um, but yeah. Oh, just realised she's got some. Are there wings? She's got wings. She's a fairy witch. So, yeah, buddy colour being done in the room. It's going on the to be coloured pile. Um, next up, we have got <clears throat> this beaut. I'm just going to zoom out. No, that's in ever so slightly. Um, obsessed. With this issue it is absolutely perfect for this month to be honest i will probably continue to colour on throughout the year um because i just love it there's probably one page that i don't but that's just because i don't know how to colour cats and actually it's that one it's a lovely page i love cats I have a cat i just don't know what to do with all that fur so i probably will not do it so as you can see i'm going to attempt three pages um and first up is i think this is hannah lane yours so apologies if you haven't seen this yet spoilers um but i'm going to do this hannah lane page this is kind of one that i think i'll be able to do quick i do like to do hannah lane in markers i probably will do this in markers um the reason for this is over on facebook in the coloring squad i am running a 
spooky spectacular scavenger hunt throughout the month so each week will feature a different prompt so spoiler you're going to hear them all now um and this is going to i'm hoping i can do this fast and get another one in for this prompt i'm just not sure which one yet but this is going to be the week two prompt and it is pumpkin spice obviously she is sat in a pumpkin or oh, she's coming out of a pumpkin so i just thought one it's cute it's hanalyn i love it um it's got a pumpkin on pumpkin spice halloween love it um, I am going to paint this background black. I'm going to cover it in black hole galaxy glitter. It is going to be a spectacular glitter thon. Um, Han my Hanalyn pages do contain gel pens and glitter and all sorts, so I'll probably go absolutely wild. There's lots of stars. Probably go stick or crazy, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, the background is definitely going to be black acrylic with galaxy glitter black hole on it so that's week two pumpkin spice so if you do fancy joining in you can start planning your pages the next one is another scavenger hunt prompt and i am well it's week four you can see the writing upside down so i don't forget week four's prompt is trick or treat i just saw this is cute i thought it was a cat but i've just it's actually just dawned on me that it's a bat isn't it I thought it was a cat, but I think it might actually be a bat. He's full of sweets, a bit like me. There's a pumpkin in there, and he's obviously been trick-or-treating. I just thought it was cute. Again, probably markers with pencil over the top. Um, yeah. It's just really cute. By Morgan Pip slash Colour in Haven. Don't know what it means. Um, but yes, that'd be the weep for prompt trick or treat and i will be off work so i might be able to get like this and something else done that week hopefully that's my plan anyway depends on weather because we might go out um and then finally in this book is the first page i want to do and i did a flip through live on facebook the other night and as soon as i saw this page i just knew it needed coloring and it needed coloring like yesterday so this is not for any prompt or anything it's i just want to do it it's beautiful um all of matt's illustrations in this book are fantastic um i just love it so could be pumpkin spice um so i'm going to do her she's definitely going to be marker based and she's going to have some pencil tweaks added on background props distress ink i think i've just got a new sort of brown might just whack that on don't know how it'll react on this paper but we'll give it a go so yeah i really want to do that so i've got three pages lined up in this i can only try I can only try and finally 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 this bad boy um <clears throat> i have got a completed page in this i'm not going to show you because i don't want to spoil it um because i've not shared it on instagram actually been quite good at not showing absolutely everything but the first is a double page spread because crazy alert um this is and i hope that um karen doesn't mind but i'm going to this is a buddy colette with karen coloring karen colors karen i'm sorry i can't remember your instagram gram name man mine's gone blank but this is going to be a buddy color with my friend karen um we have done a buddy color in forest kingdom and we decided we'd give a go of this next um quite tempted to go ink tense i'm not sure yet but I love this page it's busy there's a lot going on it's probably going to challenge me way more than i expect but it's all about learning every day's a school day literally for me um <clears throat> next we have this page now this this one is for the first prompt of the spooky spectacular scavenger hunt um and you're going to think I've probably lost the plot, but let me explain. So the prompt is, autumn leaves 
chilly breeze. It's got leaves on and apples. Autumn to me is kind of orange, crunchy leaves and actually apples. Like, so you all know I'm totally obsessed with my scented waxes. Um, anything with apple in is just autumn to me. Um, and last year they had a little autumn collection and it was three apple scents that I absolutely adored. So this kind of made sense. Kind of made sense. Um, I'm going with it. A prompt is to be interpreted any way you like. Again, I'm kind of feeling ink tense because I enjoyed using them so much. I won't be using markers, but I, I do love an ink tense, so I probably will use ink tense. I will probably add some pencil shading on there. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was quite a quirky, quirky page. I'll probably acrylic this background because glutton for punishment and I'm and I think the more I do it the better I'm gonna get so I might as well just dump jump in acrylic probably glitter it yeah I like it I can't wait to try it I'm not sure about these crystals don't know what color I'm gonna do yet but like it next up we have <clears throat> this one oh. and this so this page <clears throat> this witchy page let me zoom in because she's cute um is a week three prompt and the prompt is going to be mask hyphen a red okay um again probably think i'm absolutely crazy but let me explain we wanted to do something costumey dressy uppy and not basically the idea of this scavenger hunt is not to isolate people so if you haven't got halloween themed books or if you think oh i don't know what i don't know what page i could pick for trick or treat well trick or treat could be anything it could be a cake it could be sweets it could be the cake cart from worlds of wonder like i wanted to do very open prompts that can be interpreted anywhere you want so mask hyphen a red can be anything so i'm going to colour her because she yes she's a witch but she could be somebody dressed up going to a halloween party why would you not strap a candle to your head and a frog and go and trick or treat the night away so that plus i just love it and i can colour it for my scavenger hunt so i'm basically giving away all the spoilers this month because everybody now knows the prompts and everybody knows what page i am doing um but yeah so they are i mean that is a lot of books like what is that one two three four five six and then a lot of pages three six seven eight nine mm, maybe i think i'm on about nine this month so it could be done i will be off a lot more so i will do much more coloring um let me know what you're most looking forward to would anyone would anyone like to see a colouring chat from any of these books? Because I will film it separately um, and it'll just be like an extra page. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see a colouring chat from any of these spooky books. Um, and I will definitely plan that in somewhere along the month and we'll look forward to it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a couple of comments asking for that video so please drop us a like a little comment if you are a subscriber thanks for subscribing and if you're new welcome um subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see my videos coming up because they are going to be coming up quite fast over the next couple of days because i do really want to get some stuff filmed so thanks i feel like i've just talked at 150 miles an hour i am excited for halloween i love it I love autumn. I love colouring. It's Friday. I haven't had a drink yet. So I'm just excited. I'm excited. I am going to go now and do all of the pencil work on the mythographic page so that I can film the final bits tomorrow and the page is done. Um. So yeah, thanks guys as always for your support. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see a colouring chat from this month. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.